Well, baby, I'm on it with a bottle of wine and an old jerk road. Are you ready to go if you want to? Hey, thanks everybody for joining us today. Live Music Nation podcast, special festival edition today. We're with Belinda Morgan. She is with the Lano Earth Art Festival, otherwise known as LEAF. Thank you for joining us today. How are you? Great. Good. Um, you go by Binky, is that right? Yes. Or is yes. that what your grandkids call you? <laughs> My grandkids call me Mammy. But... <laughs> All right. Binky, give us give us some background on you. Where'd you grow up? Talk a little bit about your family and your career. Um, I grew up right here in Lano. Um, fourth generation Lanite, um, sixth generation Texan. So um, you know, I think pretty much like a lot of people, I I didn't appreciate where I was growing up and wanted to get out of here as quick as I could, and I did and uh, then we came back about 20 years ago and, you know, I think it's the best place in the world to live. <laughs> well, I think that people would agree there. Okay, let's jump into this festival. Uh, let's start with the, the when and the where. So it happens um, every year in March on the banks of the Lano River at Grinwelgy Park which is a really awesome place to have this event because it's kind of like a natural area, but it is one block from the courthouse square. Mm. Um, but the river runs right through there and there's, there are stones and there are big sandy islands in the middle of the river and all sorts of natural materials for people to uh, use to make their land art, earth art. So, um, it's been going on since uh, 2015. Um, we did have to skip a year in um, 2021 during COVID. Uh, but we did a virtual festival that year. So um, that was just about as much work as doing the live festival. Actually. Oh, I bet. It was probably even more. It's probably even more. Okay. Three questions that are that really help our, our listeners embody the festival as a whole. I'm going to ask you, what does it look like? What does it smell like? Meaning what foods are in the air? And what does it sound like? What is the atmosphere? Is there music? Is there entertainment, et cetera, activities for the kids? Let's go back to question number one. What does it look like? What does it look like? So, okay, picture the beautiful, clear um, water of the Lano River kind of bubbling over the granite outcroppings. Um, the trees are just starting to leaf out. The blue bonnets are just starting to blossom. Um, there are people of all ages, people from all walks of life, um, all different backgrounds. I mean, we have the, the, you know, the guys in their cowboy hats and the dreadies in their tie dye t-shirts and everything in between. Um, there's all sorts of art from, you know, made from natural materials. That's what earth art is. It's, you know, art that's made from natural materials, stones and sticks and dirt and flowers and that kind of thing. So, um, you know, there are colorful flags and tents and children wandering around. And it's it's just looks like a festival, colorful, lively, but um, with a little different twist. Okay. Yeah. Very, very good. Okay. So now let's get into the second part. What is it? What does it smell like? Let's talk about foods. What are people going to be able to eat? That's one of the greatest things that they like when they, uh, when they go to a new festival. Um, gosh, we have all kinds of food trucks and food vendors. Um, you know, the kettle corn has a very scented aroma. So you smell that there's barbecue yes. there. There's, um, uh, you know, the funnel cakes. Um, there are also vegan and vegetarian tacos. You know, the onions are grilling and the bell peppers. And um, so, you know, the, the, there's organic cotton candy. Um, mm. So you, you have all those different smells. And then, of course, there's the beer tent. So you have that, too. 
That's you, you, you're selling it. You're selling it good now. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. Let's talk about sounds. What kind of activities are going to be going on? What are people going to hear? So um, we have three days of live music. Um, you are going to hear pretty much every genre of music. Um, we, we really love performance bands. And um, by that, I mean bands that, that do something besides just play the music like they have costumes or they do um, fire or, you know, <laughs> um, so you like, you like high liability entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> well, our insurance can be kind of high. Yeah. But um, <laughs> yeah, it's uh yes, we do. We do. So we have, you know, we have, um, folk music and country music and we have there's one band I that you know I really like that they build themselves as um surfer punk and mm. uh, reggae and you know acoustic and just we had throat singers a couple of years uh, <laughs> so you're gonna you're going to hear a lot. Of you are. You're, it sounds like you're going to get a little bit of everything there. That's awesome. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. Okay, so let's let's get into this for you. What is your role in all of this? Well, um, I am actually the founder of the festival. Um, I had um, always admired the rock stacks that I had seen around in Texas and different places. And my dad passed away and I was just scrolling through the internet one evening and saw this beautiful, large, um, really like a cairn. And it had these beautiful vines wrapped around it with flowers on it. And I, I just thought that would be such a beautiful tribute to my dad. I would like to go down to the river and build that thing. And but I thought, you know what, I can't do that by myself. I, I, I need some help. So I just put it out there. Hey, y'all want to y'all want to start a little festival and let's do this rock stacking thing. We can do some earth art and it, and it just, it resonated with people and we did it. And, you know, the first year we, we uh, had a bake sale to raise money and did all kinds of crazy things to raise money. We started the festival with $3,000 and um, we had about a thousand people show up and, um, and it's grown now in the last, you know, eight or nine years we've got we have several thousand people that show up every year and um so yeah I'm the founder and um kind of the visual director of the festival I'm I'm very into the aesthetics of it that is where it's supposed to be absolutely absolutely okay now most importantly how do people find out more information about this uh you can go to our website at lanoearthartfest.org um also we post regularly on our facebook and instagram page pages at lano earth art fest okay and then what about social media yeah facebook and instagram okay okay very, very good. Very good. All right. Now, listen, two fun questions, because I am in live music and live entertainment. I always ask these next two questions, whether you have music or not, and you do. So that's cool. But I want to know, what is the best concert you've ever seen your entire life? Best concert? Uh... Do you mean like big name or do you mean? Like I mean, whatever you think is the best one you've ever seen. Well, Leaf, of course. Okay. Very <laughs> good. Dead or alive. Dead or alive. Second question. Dead or alive. You get to see one musical actor artist. Who would you see? Oh, my God. Just one. Just one. Um, I'm going to go with Hendrix. You can't go wrong with that. You can't <laughs> go wrong with that at all. That's a beautiful answer. Um, yeah, perfect. Okay, 
Thank you so much for being on with us today. I appreciate it greatly, Binky. Well, thank you for having us. Absolutely. Well, baby, I'm on with a bottle of wine.